What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. We are continuing the T17 adventures. What I would like to do for this video is craft one of these bone rings. So that will be the plan for this video is to get one of these crafted and get it good to go. Now, what we need to do is get chaos res on one of the bone rings so we can cap out and get our timeless jewel. That is the goal of this video while still doing T-17s and obviously doing our town because those things are fun for me right now and that is the Zero to Hero. That being said, I did tell you guys in the video before that we do have all these scarabs and I am not going to sell the scarabs. I want to keep stacking them up because I actually like seeing them stack up, but all together, this tab is worth 53 divine. We're just going to keep continuing it. We're going to keep stacking it. We're going to make a lot more scarabs, a lot more currency, but yeah. Let's get into uh, the grind. This thing refuses the rule right. Oh. Ooh. Oh, that is nice. God, absolutely perfect. Put some chaos rhythm on this. Now that puts us at 75% chaos res. Which means now we can get our jewel. We need to bless the word this. 15, there you go. Hey, that's the council feature. Nice. Reality fragments, let's go. Hey, reality fragment, nice.
Ooh. These are some nice gloves. That's two divine gloves right there. Yeah, that's, that's definitely getting sold. Oh, that's a scare but that's vacation. Hey, you've got me, friend. There we go. And I'm okay with, oh, with all the puzzle button dropping. That's in the calcification. Yeah, let me friend. Let's go. Hey, double... Oh, wait. Oh, I thought that was a reality fragment. We got one reality fragment. Nice. Nice! Now we exalt slam and prage. Dang, but this is nice though. I think we might use this. That's nice. Alright, let's buy another one. Another good one. Okay, so we gotta exalt slam this one now. All right, here we go. Again? We might replace this one. Yeah, yeah, replace this one. Right, time to buy another one. Here we go. Now we exalt slam. Wow. Let me just buy eleven of these. I don't, I'm not gonna buy them anymore. All right, here we go. What? Me have chaos res. Ooh, mm, not good. But I think I'd much prefer this one over this, big time. Okay, yeah, and that will put us at. 4,672 life. That's nice. And this one has a higher damage. Ooh. Oh, there we go. T2. Okay, now... The exalt slam. We preach. Nope. So that puts us at 4,759 life now. Okay. So then now we need to buy another jewel. I think we actually replaced all the jewels now. Hey. Amber scare with containment.
Watch his eye. There we go. Pick up that watch's eye and drop it for me. Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh my god! Oh! Oh! Bro! Bro, bro, we splitting this shit. <laughs> we splitting that. We, bro, bro, what the fuck? Crit multiplier while affected by anger and grit. Gain 25 life per enemy hit while affected by vitality. That's like damn near 25 divines. You know the mod that I'm very surprised that GGG did not put in the game? Increased duration. He won. There we go. We have to annul. Okay. So now we annul. Page that we hit the projectile speed. Projectile speed. Amazing. Not a virus. Okay. Now we annul. There we go. Exalt. No. No, we don't want that. No, don't want that. <laughs> Cannot roll attack modifier. One eternity later. Oh. 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 <laughs> there we go. There we go. That's not bad. Okay, now. Get a 27. Get a 27. Come on. 27. Easy. There we go. And this will be our new quiver. Let's craft is now done. We have our new quiver. All right, YouTube, it is time to end off the video. We have got a lot done. We've done a lot of T17s. We have now crafted our quiver and our bone ring, which is what the goal was of this video, was to get the bone ring crafted, one bone ring, and to get the quiver crafted. Now. If we look at our craft right now, this is the ring that we actually got. I decided to YOLO exalt slam the prefix and we got the evasion rating, which is terrible. But hey, you know, it's, it's a death stat anyway, and we don't really care much about the prefixes in terms of that. The main stats that we really wanted was the obviously the T1 life, the increased minion damage, attack and cast speed for minions, and those were the most important parts. Plus getting the chaos res on the suffix which actually made it so we can now if we look at our tree we can now have on the glorious vanity which will give us now divine flesh which is 50 percent of elemental damage taken as chaos damage massive for our survivability plus five to maximum chaos res and if we look at our chaos res we are now at 80 percent so we are honestly in a really good spot in terms of that that being said now if we look at our quiver we just did this quiver this quiver is absolutely amazing i really wanted to get the t the t1 on the maximum life and the bow skills but it is totally fine we can revisit it later on but for right now i'm extremely happy with this now if we look at our jewels we do have we did do some of our jewels we did get the t1 max life fracture the t1 attack and cast speed 
and then the T2 additional lightning damage. This could be improved on, but it is extremely hard to actually hit the additional lightning damage, attack and cast speed, and the minions deal recent damage from your skills. It is extremely, extremely hard, but we are going to keep trying to do that. It is a money sink, but yeah, we're just, we're just gonna keep going and keep trying to do that over and over and over. Our last and final upgrades for the build is going to be this bone ring, we need to get a new bone ring. Really what we need to aim for is increased damage, attack and cast speed for minions. Make sure we have an open prefix for the non-chilling skills for have negative to total mana cost. We don't need any res or anything on it, but the ring, this ring isn't gonna be hard to craft or anything like that. I just decided to hold off on it because I didn't want to do it already in there, but we just really need, we need to buy a T1 fracture life and then we need to pay with bound fossils, which is actually not hard at all. Yeah, we've done a lot of work. We have done a ton, a ton, a ton of work. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit that like, hit the subscribe button. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And yeah, catch you guys in the next video.